Hey there everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are looking to animate your drawings or your digital pictures, maybe you have a logo or an avatar of some kind, stay tuned. I'm going to be covering how to do that using sketch.metademolab.com. Now before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so this is going to be a super quick video. So basically you go to sketch.metademolab.com. You can click get started and you'll see that you upload your drawing. There are a couple of things that you need to make sure that you do correctly in order to get this to work properly. So I have the robot from codelessfix.com, which is my website. So we're going to drop an image of the robot here. We're going to click next click agree uh, obviously you know you have to read the disclaimers and all of that and then we will resize this window to be essentially just the size of whatever it is that we're looking to animate and then what we have to do is basically set up the uh, the object itself and make it separate from the background so the idea here is this whiter color it's going to be what's actually animated. So you'll see that we have a pencil right here and we can choose the size. So when we're filling this in, for example, I'll show you why you have to be more careful with this part. So if I just do the top half and I click next and next, you'll see when the animation starts, it's only the top half that's actually going through. So what you need to make sure to do is fill out every part that is related to your image. So again, you can choose the pen tips that work best to make it a little bit finer. I like to zoom in a little bit. And then again, you're just going to, it really helps if you have a touch screen of some kind. So I'm just going to use the touch screen of my laptop. We'll do this. I'm not really trying to make it super fine here, but we're just going to fill in just the basic parts. And then you can zoom in more if you really want to get more accurate, because if you have too much of the white from the background, if you're not using a transparent logo, for example, then it can be a little bit difficult because the movements will have those white parts in uh, that kind of get in the way of each other. Another thing that I noticed when using this website is if you use uh, any kind of a character that has crossed arms, that tends to be a little bit more difficult as well uh, and it can mess up the animations now you do have the eraser option so for example if you went over we'll just go over here for example you can use the eraser and undo that so it'll help you to clean up the lines a bit now i'm not going to go into too much detail because i really just want to show a very quick overview so we're going to click next now this part's pretty crucial. You'll see when you hover over each of these, it shows what part of the uh, the object or the person or thing, it shows what it is. So you'll need to put the ear where the ear is expected to be, for example, the left eye where the left eye is, and you'll repeat this process for each of the various parts. So you'll see this is showing center of the head. We'll just say that's around here. Now for the most part, everything lines up relatively well but the tricky part will be sometimes getting the arms to bend in a way that looks a little bit more realistic so what i'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and click next with this setup like this actually we're going to adjust the shoulders just a little bit and we're going to click next now it'll start to make sense as you see things kind of working so if you were to slow this animation down you would see some of the white pieces of the background still in the picture and you'll notice some animations may not look as fluid you can see his arms are kind of bent and that's because of the previous step so the idea here is the more you kind of move things around the more you'll be able to adjust and get it to look essentially the way that it should and you're just you want there to be kind of like a natural curvature. So we'll do the same animations and see if that arm, again, you'd have to do a little bit more work, but the idea here is you can animate these things pretty easily and you can tell, okay, there's some white background right there that I need to work through. But at the very least, if you're using transparent backgrounds, it could probably make it a little easier to work with. But 
that's pretty much all that there is to it. So you'll see you have the ability to get this animation. You can go full screen with it if you need to. And then you can share the animation by clicking here. And you'll see the various ways that you can share it. And you can also right click. I'm not sure if you can save it from here, but that's really all that there is to it. And then you have different options to go through. So hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below and I'll see you all in the next video.